Jane Nicky here from Purple Patch Fishing. Well, I'm up at the Hume Weir in Albury. Going to have a land-based fish, try and catch some little reddies. Going to throw a grub and uh, just see what we can, if we can get any. Uh, remember to like the video, subscribe and let's go fishing. Well, check out that water behind me. Doesn't it look magnificent? I reckon there's going to be a few redfin in there. I think we need to go fishing. Oh, hit. Nope. <laughs> just slow rolling my little grub. Just across the bottom here. Get a nice big cast out. And a slow roll. Just so it's just up off the bottom. See if I can tempt one of these red fin. again next time I get a hit I'll just um, I'm just gonna stop it and let it sink and see if it then we'll just pick it up off the bottom just out of the hume weir having a flick didn't bring the boat because we haven't got time but so I oh, will bring a couple of rods and just have a land-based fish it's always a bit of fun So just walking along the bank here looking for some deeper water there's some sort of really shallow things and but I've just found a spot that seems to go out and then drop off and I've had a couple of hits there so there's obviously um, swimming along that little drop off which is nice the water's a little bit cooler now it's April so um, we were here in summer the water was a lot warmer um, so the fish aren't quite as active I'm hoping that I can get another couple I've caught a, caught a couple but it's a little bit slow but then also the sun's now going down and it's not so high up on the water it's lovely and clear and no wind so um, with the sun going down a bit there's also a lot more activity on the water now there's insects all over the place and so 
they might start to have a bit of a feed which would be nice just letting that lure sink and then just slowly rolling it back that's what's worked for me so far but They're quite aggressive little feeders, flat, um, flathead, uh, redfin. They um, will chase it and hunt it down, so you don't sort of have to stop it and let it sit on the bottom. You can just, yeah, just wind it. So I'm just letting it get right down near the bottom because in case that's where they are, they're probably feeding sort of closer to the bottom. Just had another hit, but... I think I had one on before and he was just holding on to my tail because I certainly didn't get the hook in him but anyway that's all right we know they're here we felt them uh, I... I got it ready I've got it ready oh he's not bad part with them there we go look at that nice little red fin Stop spinning. I can get my finger in and get that. Get the hook out. I just a slow rolling a grub. <laughs> slow rolling it. Oh, I've got half out. Not really. Um, just along the the bottom there, and he banged that one. It was interesting because I've been doing a, I was been doing a lift and retrieve, um, on it and didn't get anything. So I thought oh, I'll just do a couple of slow rolls. First time I slowed roll, got one. <laughs> See, he's not bad. We'll um, get him untangled and get him back in. Oh, put this little ready back. He's cute. Let him swim off. It's a little bit muddy here, so I've got to be careful. It's not. There he goes. Hey! It's starting to get a bit dark. You'll get on sunset, so all the boats are heading back into the boat ramp. Wish I had my boat to be honest. Well, that was great fun. Great to get out and stretch the legs. Caught a couple of redfin. Sun's going down. Time for a drink. I'll catch you next time on the water.